Welcome to the oldest part of the museum. This was the Chantry House, built in 1511 by William Wigaston, who was a wool merchant and later mayor of Leicester. This chantry house was a place where priests would live and perform religious duties, including saying prayers for the Wigaston family and the royal family. In the 16th century, people believed the more prayers were said for you, the more likely you were to get into heaven. It didn't last long, as King Henry VIII's Reformation put an end to chantry houses in 1527. The Reformation was a religious and political movement that affected the practice of Christianity in Western and Central Europe. This building had many uses over the centuries, but ended up as a school before being turned into a museum in 1953. During the latest refurbishment, the toy gallery you see here today was installed. The first room is called Growing Up, and here you can see children's fashions from over the last 100 years. As you enter the gallery, you will see a giant teddy bear to your right. If you are from Leicester, you might remember this teddy bear, which took pride of place in the Domino's toy shop window on High Street. Domino's was the place to go for toys in Leicester for over three decades, from 1983 until its closure in 2013. Domino's kindly donated this bear to the museum when they closed. To the far left, in the case, you can see a 1950s school uniform from Gateway Boys' School, which was the school that occupied this building before it was a museum. You can also see some other school-related items on display. On the wall to your right is the oldest object in the museum, which is a stone plaque with beautiful lettering. It's a memorial to Agnes, wife of John, and was found built into the walls of this house when it was being refurbished. The plaque is dated 1349 predating the Chantry House by over 150 years. It is evidence that there may have been an existing building here before the Chantry House was built. In the next room, you can see a selection of toys and games from the last century, from the early 1900s up to the early 2000s. What is your favourite toy? And can you see anything similar on display? Or maybe you're old enough to remember some of the toys in the case when they were originally released. You might notice the large fireplace to the right of the gallery. This original 16th century feature is covered in marks and graffiti, left by various people over the last 500 years.
behind you is a display showing old toys and games from around the world. There are wooden figures from China, animal figures from India, and hand puppets from Germany, and toy fans from Japan, among others. Thank you for visiting the Toy Gallery. We hope you liked seeing the toys from across history and learning more about this wonderful building. <laughs>